how you can make something just like this where you have floating objects in your video. This is a great way to be engaging in your stories or in a reel. First, you need to make a video. You need to be sure that you have enough space on the side and enough space overhead for all of those objects to be floating. You can even have some floating across the bottom. Now that you have your video recorded, let's design this in Canva. When you're in Canva, you're going to actually look for mobile video as your template. Even though there are other templates that have that same size, like Instagram Story, you really want to be looking for the mobile video template because it will lay it out in video format. Once you find the template, select a blank mobile video, and you can see at the bottom the video template is already laid out for you. Next, we're going to put our branding color as the background. So I'll highlight the entire canvas, select a color, and I'll go with this blue color. Next, I want to add the video that we've just recorded. So I will now go to my uploads area where I've uploaded the video. And here's where you want to do any trimming or editing. Simply done by dragging your timeline tape at the bottom. So we'll just let this go for seven seconds, 10 seconds, we'll let it go for 10 seconds. There we go. Once we've done this, you want to remove the background by highlighting the video, clicking on edit video, and remove background. Remember, this is a feature that is only for paid subscribers to Canva, so if you don't have the paid version, you won't be able to remove the background of the video. Here's where you can edit just a little bit as you like. Let me drag this down. Make some adjustments here. And from here, I'm going to right click and say replace background because I want the video to be part of the background so the elements float over this. So let me come over here and hit play just to see. Let me show you how you can make something just like this where you have floating objects in your video. Okay, so now we want to add our elements. So we click on elements on the left side of our screen and find some elements that you like that have maybe some movement to them already. So we'll add this star. We'll put this up here and just kind of leave it off screen a little bit. I like these twinkling stars too. So I'll add these in. I just really like anything that has movement to it naturally in a static way. So let me put this here and let me just search for um, squiggly line, see what we can find. Something maybe with a little bit of color to it. Okay, so now you can see I have a few elements, some that are static and some that have movement. If I were to press play currently, let me show you how you can make something just like this. You notice that they all stay in place and they don't really float across the screen. So here's how we get that floating animation. Click in the gray space area that's not part of this canvas, and then you'll click on animate. From here under combinations, go to chill and you can see how it floats and moves those elements across the video. So now let's play it and see how this looks. Let's go back to the beginning. Let me show you how you can make something just like this where you have floating objects in your video. This is a great way to be engaging in your stories or in a reel. Now I noticed that some of these didn't float, so you might wanna try changing out some of those elements. There might be a glitch. So let's try a different element and just see if that makes a difference. We'll try the sun. And let's see. Let me show you how you can make something just like this where you have floating objects. Yeah, I can see it was moving a bit. So you might need to change out some of the elements if they're not moving because they all should be tracking. And again, the way we did this is we just clicked in the gray space and clicked chill. When you've finished with your design, just click share at the top and save this to your mobile device 
or to your desktop.